Hi everyone and welcome to another Odoo Function tutorial brought to you by Tech Ultra Solutions. In today's session, we'll be focusing on the configuration and linking of the chart of accounts within the Odoo Accounting module. You will learn how to create, update and manage your chart of accounts effectively and how to link these accounts to products and taxes to ensure seamless and accurate accounting integration across your system. Now for chart of accounts, let's quickly dive into the accounting module here in our database and here in the configuration you have the option for chart of accounts here so click on that. Now it's a structured list of all the accounts used to record the financial transactions in your company such as sales, purchase, assets liabilities income and expenses now as you can see here on the screen each account in the chart of account has a unique account code account name and an account type for example receivable payable income and expense now this structure ensures that every transaction like the customer invoices vendor bills or payments is posted correctly in the general ledger now to create a new chart of account, you can just simply click on this new and uh, here we get in line where we can add the details such as account code. Say I am creating the chart of account with the account code as 70100, account name I am just adding as sales revenue local. Then here we have to select the account type. So I'm just adding income as my account type here because my account is sales revenue here. From here you can choose a logical account group and uh, here we have the allow reconciliation. If you want this chart of account, uh, the reconciliation should be there. So you can just enable this allow reconciliation. Then we have tags which is like uh, used for reports like profit and loss or balance sheet. It is helpful there. Then we have the account currency here. So I'm just adding INR as my account currency here. And uh, then we have the company if you want to set for the default or multi company context. So uh, this company section is helpful there. Now, once you have like added all these uh, details, you can just save the account and uh, you can now use this in product configuration, tax settings and journal entries. So now I'm just going to click on this save to save this particular chart of account and here you can see it has been created. Here you can find the codes. So here you can find it separately for the code starting with uh, 7 as in digits. You can find the codes related or starting with 7 here. Similarly, you can find the uh, codes starting with 1, 2 and 3 separately here. And if you want to see all in one, then you can just simply click on this all and you will find all the chart of accounts with the unique codes. Then let's see the structuring chart of accounts. So uh, navigate to the account groups for that. Uh, let's go to the configuration and uh, here we have the option for account groups. So Odoo like lets you organize the accounts using account groups. So these are useful for financial reporting and structuring the chart of accounts hierarchically. So simply by clicking on this new we can create the account group. So let's uh, create the account group for the chart of account we have just created. So I'm just naming this account group as operating income and the code prefix I will start with the code I've started and here you can define the extent of how much code prefix you want this group to fall into and uh, company is auto populated added here and you can just save this account group so now we'll just move to our chart of accounts back and uh, if we are going to just have a look at our uh, chart of account created you can see the group has been added as the operating income group now this makes your chart of account cleaner and reports easier to interpret Next up, we'll see updating the existing chart of account entries. So here we have all the chart of accounts. Now to update an account, you can simply open it from the list and make the changes like you can modify the name, type or code and you can just simply uh, make the modifications and you can click on the save and the changes will be saved. 
apart from this if you want to make any changes in bulk so you can just simply select all the jar of accounts you want and you can uh, easily export it into an excel sheet and then you can make the changes in bulk and then you can simply click on the settings and you can import the records and if you want to uh, like import the chart of accounts uh, from the scratch from the start then you can prepare an excel sheet in this particular format you can see on the screen and you can just simply import the records now we'll just see linking accounts to the product so for that we'll just uh, like move to our sales module and uh, here in the product so I'm just opening any random product here for say monitor I'm just opening so here we have the accounting tab to link accounts to products now each product can be linked to specific income and the expense accounts this ensures that accurate postings when the product is sold or purchased so income account uh, here you can select any uh, revenue account and for the expense account here you can like uh, select any cost related account so set these accounts appropriately depending on the nature of the product now if we keep it blank then Odoo uses the category level uh, by default the product category which we have added in the monitor so let's move to that and let's see how we can set the accounts in the product category so if I open this product category from this internal link into the product so here you can find the income and expense account which is already set uh, for this category so depending on the costing method uh, you can just set the income and expense account and uh, it will be by default added to the product if added in the product category now let's see the linking accounts to taxes so for that we'll again move to our accounting module now and uh, you're in the configuration uh, we have the taxes so here we have different uh, taxes already available uh, depending on the localization we have added into our accounting module into our Odoo system now you can create a new tax or you can just simply select the existing or the created tax to link the accounts to taxes so for every tax uh, you need to like define the account it posts to so I'm just opening this 5% GST tax which is already created now for every tax we need to define the account so for that way I'm just going to open this and here in the advanced option we have our tax group so just go to this internal link for tax group and uh, here in the wizard you can see the name of the tax group and all other details such as country and the company and here we have the two accounts which is tax payable account and the tax receivable account need to like define the tax receivable and the tax payable account so tax receivable would be for the collected GST and uh, tax payable or for the refund account we need because of the reverse entries now this linkage ensures that taxes are automatically posted to the right accounts during the invoice validation so that's a wrap up thank you for watching this is how you configure and manage your chart of accounts in odoo stay tuned for more tutorials on mastering the accounting module subscribe for more odoo tutorials like and share if you found this helpful bye for now